Hello. We have a Subaru that drove. We're in South Carolina, and uh, they apparently drove from Michigan to here like this. They didn't have the oil cap on. They think their engine's toast, or they think, I don't know what they think, but uh, yeah, it's, it's our brought oil. I have no idea how much is in it. Let's find out. I'm gonna hook you guys up. Right over, right over here. Right there. That seems good. All right. Let's see what we got dipstick-wise. I'm thinking nothing. Nothing on the dipstick. Not a drop. All right, let's start with the cord, I guess. And distance pour. I brought three cords in this jug. And this is just kind of our, ooh, that doesn't smell good. It smells like a candle wax. We'll start with however much that was, which was some amount that I will equate to Eh, a quart and a half-ish. That get us on the stick? Uh, nope. More! Just pouring the rest of this. Because it's not even touching the stick, so it's at least a quart low. We still don't have a cap yet either. I don't know if they're getting us a cap or what, or if they're just gonna take it like it is. The customer came in, it was kind of, it been kind of, there we go. Now we finally got something on the stick, which, ooh, it doesn't smell good either. You guys have a unique opportunity. I'm just gonna leave you there. Well, maybe I won't leave you there because I don't want you to get it covered in oil. Um, let's put you right, let's put you over here, far away from everything in case stuff goes sideways. But at least here, you can watch and experience this just as I am right now, in real time. In fact, better because you're out here. Let's see. Gotta go get a jump box. Okay, fine. Is that it's hot out here. Amazing. That's because you're inside the overly air conditioned office. Oh, actually, if you want to start it, that'd be fine. You get a hook tip. All right, you may fire one ready. What? No. Oh, so it's not the dead battery. It's a dead starter. Um, wish I had something heavy to smack it. But... Either that or the engine's seized. Let me go get a, I think the engine might be seized, honestly. Hit the key again? Yeah. Oh, I was gonna say start to spin it over one more time, or okay. try to. I wanna watch the voltage for a second. See what it goes down to. It's probably drawing a ton of amps trying to move this thing. <laughs> engine, engine bump just a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna go get a 22 and try and turn this thing. I think it's locked. I thought I had it dead. Well, yeah, it could, no, battery's not that dead though. Dead enough. Yeah. But. Go get a ratchet. Honestly, I was not expecting this result. Let's see. So we got 22. Is it going the right direction? I guess it's kind of moot which direction it goes right now. Oh god! Oh god! Yeah, this thing's locked. This thing is locked up. Do what? Engine's locked up. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it burned the 
it welded the crank to the uh, block. I can't budge it. Okay. It's shot. Needs an engine. Okay. Can I go backwards? Nope, not really. Yep. That's crazy. Either that or the pistons are melted to the block. Something's melted to the block. Yeah. God, that sucks. I'd be so pissed. Because you left your oil cap off and then yeah. drove 12 or, let's see, they came from Michigan, so 15 to 20 hours, depending on from where. Yeah. All right. Well, he's dead. <laughs>